Hey guys, welcome back to another ARC video. Today we're going to tame a Basilisk. Shout out to Jay Stanley for the request on the video. Took me a little bit longer to get it out. I was feeling a little bit under the weather, but I'm feeling good. So let's get this done today. So to tame one of these, it's a passive tame. You need a fertilized egg. There's two parts to it. First part's going to be getting the egg. The second part's going to be the tame. So my suggestion to everybody is you go for the fire wyvern fertilized egg. And I'm going to show you my method, which seems to work and will work for anybody that's a high enough level to make a large planter in order to do the plant X. So for the first part, I suggest you teleport to Belheim Northwest. There you can find good resources in order to build a small base. Make sure you bring like a furry raptor with you to protect yourself because you could teleport into a lot of nasty creatures. Once you get a base established, get some plan X going. You'll see here I got a bunch set up. I'm already all established. And by doing this method, it's going to protect you. So you can go in with pretty much any dino you want that's a flying dino. Grab an egg, rush back out, and use your plan X to your advantage. That's what you want to do. You want the plant X to kill the wyverns. Because obviously, if you're a lower level, you're not going to be able to take them out. So they will protect you, and it works really well. Obviously, the more you put in, the faster it will kill them. So you're going to want to be strategic when you go in, scope it out, see how the wyverns are. I've noticed sometimes the wyverns seem to be not around. They all seem to be around. So you got to choose when you go in and where you go in wisely to make sure that you're giving yourself the best advantage. There's going to be all these little cutouts where you will find nests and you can go grab an egg. Once you grab the egg, you're going to immediately want to get back on your team and get the hell out of there. One thing to keep in mind is those eggs weigh 50 pounds. So make sure you have enough weight in whatever bird you're using to get out. And then just get over to your base. You can build that base as close as you want. Mine's a little further away. And once they come out after you, let those plant X do the work. One tip if you're not familiar with the wyverns and grabbing an egg. Sometimes one will be directly behind you. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, a bunch more will show up. Because they want to get that egg back from you. So just keep that in mind. Don't always assume if you get one kill that there's not another one around. So be cautious. So what's great about this location is you're going to be right near where you're going to find a bunch that will spawn in. They're usually on the northeast side of this fire wyvern area. You want to start looking right around 8174 and just head along the coast, a little bit inland, just looking around. What's great about these snakes are they usually are attacking something or they're just right in the ground and you can identify them pretty well once you know what they look like. So when they're buried in the ground, they usually have a rock ring around them and their tail sticks out and their tail looks like a W. And I've noticed a lot of times they tend to be in a pair, a male and a female. So sometimes they'll be much easier to spot because they'll be right next to each other when they're in the ground. But like I said, sometimes they do get aggressive. So as you can see here, there's two of the rock formations. So from a distance, they kind of look just like regular rocks. But as you get a little closer, you're going to notice the tail sticking out of the ground and it kind of looks like a W. So once you found one that you want to tame, you're going to want to drop the fertilized egg on the ground. However you do it, flying a little bit above the ground, on the ground, it doesn't matter. My method I do is I don't build a taming pen. I know a lot of people like to do that, but I've had great success in multiple maps where I just drop the egg down and then I go aggro them. They start coming after me and as soon as they start to calm down, usually one of them will eat the egg and it starts the taming process. And depending on the level, sometimes they'll tame instantly. But you want to stay nearby. You don't want to get too far away where, you know, they despawn off screen where you can't see them anymore. So you want to stay pretty close, but avoid getting hit. One thing I've also noticed is that sometimes they'll tame and the game won't tell you anything. So if you are going for one that has two of them, you got to be careful because they'll start to get hit by the other one. So either be prepared to take out the other one with a good tame you have or try to find one that's a single by itself. So you don't even have to deal with that then. And there we are. We got a level 118. Beautiful tame. Look at that. Those colors on it are awesome. One cool thing about them is, is when you bring them back to your base, if you want to take up less space in their settings, there is an option that you can bury them in the ground and they look really cool when you have them at your base. I hope this helps you guys out. Let me know in the comments below if this was successful for you. The other people in my tribe who have tried it, it's worked for them, but you never know. I know a lot of people do the taming pens, so I'm just curious if this works. I find it to be a little bit easier than building a pen 
and the method we did in the beginning with the plan X, that base is always going to be there. So if you need wyvern eggs or whatever you want to do, it's always there. So it's not like you're doing something that's a one off. You definitely can use that in the future for anything else you want to do with trying to get fire wyvern eggs. And as always, guys, thanks for checking out my video. Hit that like button, subscribe. It helps out the channel. And remember to relax and feel the breeze. Laters.